come again. You ever wonder why Japan doesn't release everything in the West? Because most of it is trash. Whether it's controls, graphics, story, or the overly Japanese aesthetics. We just don't see a lot of the games in North America. But of course, sometimes they release an English version, but only in Europe. This is one of them. A game where you fight zombies in the worst hack and slash game for the PlayStation 2 I have ever played. While wearing bikinis. Why? Cause Japan. From the awful UI to the clunky combat and semi-tankish controls, Zombie Hunters 2 left me wondering how the Japanese put up with these trash games. Then after a while, it hit me. They don't play with the controller, they play with themselves. This isn't a game, it's softcore porn for your PS2. Ridiculous to say the least, and yet very Japan. The controls feel similar to old school Resident Evil. As your camera changes, it affects your direction, even though the camera is movable and the whole game is 3D. A very strange feeling. I like the lack of a feeling in my pants as I'm no longer a horny 12 year old weeb who would actually like this game. The combat is very Dynasty Warriors at home quality. For some reason, you're supposed to fight hordes of enemies at once, but your attacks rarely land even on a single target. Eventually, I found a lock on system button, yet that only made things worse, especially when dealing with the dumb birds. Eddie from Ed, Ed and Eddie was right. I hate birds. We also eventually just die randomly and have to start all over again, and the levels go on for a very long time. You barely earn experience as you kill enemies too, which yes, there's a mind-numbing basic RPG mechanic where you level up your skills, but after slaying over 100 zombies, I still don't gain anything. What is this, a Korean MMO? Anyways, your attacks are a basic sword swing, kicks, and butt farts. I'm not kidding, you thrust your butt in the air, and everyone explodes. <laughs> God damn, they have a Taco Bell in this universe? Talk about a five layer burrito aftermath. The level design is awful, as you'll struggle to find your way around as areas are copy and pasted with the same assets, and some areas are too open and large with nothing in them. I eventually gave up on this game. It's not worth your time, and it's not worth mine. Overall, don't bother with this one. I'm glad it never came out in the United States. We don't deserve this trash. Japan, please keep your trashy porno games. For now on, sincerely, everyone. Anyways, that's it. See y'all next time. Hopefully, with not a trashy game and something actually worth talking about. Hey, thanks for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button so you can see more content in the future. Check out the most recent upload, the best for your viewer. And also, check out the playlist 
as there's plenty of more content to offer. See y'all next time.